My next guest takes on Jessica Penne coming up here at UFC on ESPN1. It is uh, Jody Escobar joining me here on the program for the very first time. Jody, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing awesome. It's uh, good to chat with you. I imagine you just finished practice or are you going to practice right now? Uh, I just finished. Got a little bit of break until the next one. Excellent. Well, thanks for having me part of your break. Uh, how, how did practice go today? It was good. It was good. Fun one today. Uh, how excited were you when you found out you were on this card? You know, in my mind, I uh, I asked for Arizona. I had talked to Mick and I was like, oh, what about this? I thought I would get bumped to like one of the overseas cards. But um, when he called and said, hey, Arizona, I was like, wow, uh, I was completely blown away. It was it was something that I had wanted. The date was perfect. It's close to home. Um, it's the first ESPN card. Like, come on, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. It's, it's, a it's a big opportunity and I'm excited about it. We haven't seen you since July. Any particular reason uh, for the layoff? Were you trying to get in there a little bit sooner or did you want this much time off? Yeah, no, I would have loved to be, uh, be in there sooner. Just the way the cards were, were dealt. Um, I hadn't been able to get, get in there. And so, um, it was good. It, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer of that. And, and I took some time, worked on some things, got better, changed a lot of things. Um, kept a lot of the things the same and and um i feel like uh i feel like the time off was good you know and and um looking back i don't feel like it's that much time you know people are like oh you've had a huge layoff and it's like man i don't i didn't feel like that yeah it went by really fast and i wasn't um yeah of course like we were asking for cards all the time but um it didn't i didn't um it wasn't anything negative in my mind, so I feel good about it. That's good. Um, what were some of the changes you made? You mentioned, uh, you know, switching some things up. It's top secret. Okay, fair no, enough. I'm just kidding. I'm well, totally I don't know. Some fighters, you know, they don't want to talk about their <laughs> game plan. I get it. I mean, whatever you want to talk about, it's cool with I'm me. I'm totally so. kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, I uh, went back to like a few of the just kind of like the old concept of like the old uh nitty gritty kind of grinding days of of different types of workouts and um more, more so that and and just kind of getting back to myself i think i was playing it a little too uh like playing it a little safe you know and and um i never did that before and it was kind of weird that that happened and and um i just th there's no time like the present i just kind of want to let go now and and uh, i feel better about that your last fight uh, against Jessica Penne and it didn't go your way in that fight. Uh, or sorry, uh, Jessica Aguilar, I should say. Uh, what, what did you uh, learn the most from that performance? What did you take away from that fight? Um, exactly that. I think like, uh, not that I, I didn't feel at the time that I was playing it safe or playing it close or playing reserved or fighting reserved. Um, but, but I'm so much better than that. And so I, I was my own, I was in my own way. You know, and, and I think that's a lot of things and it's very cliche and all the fighters go through finding themselves as a fighter and, and all the things. But like that's what I took away is is um, just more trust in myself and more trust in my skills. And, and um, man, I belong there. And if I if I'm holding myself back in losing split decisions, like I just let myself go and, and uh, come out on top this time. So how did you link up with the Turpos? Um, you know what? It was. Kind of through Keith a little bit, Keith Jardine, and then um, uh, we linked up, got a care package, and uh, fell in love, you know? Um, it's been a huge part of my training regimen. It's been a huge part of um, daily, nightly regimen. Like, it's just, it's, it's definitely changed training. Um, one of the few, one of the things that I've changed for the better is um, recovery, you know? Um, training smarter training harder um training making sure that my training sessions are meaningful and uh making sure that my recovery time is beneficial and and making sure that that happens and and actually turp house products have been a staple a, a, absolutely not a not just a cliche silly thing to say about a product that i'm using i i use it every day and every night Absolutely. Yeah. What What are you using for recovery right now? Is it the CBD oil or the cream? What, what are you using? It's the CBD oil is super consistent and the cream when I need it. Um, but night and day, no question, CBD oil. Okay. And you mentioned that was through your husband. Does Keith take it as well? 
Um, he does. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have to have like mine and his, his and hers, I guess, because then like mine's all gone. And I'm like, dude, say something like use all my shit. So it's good. We have a lot of uh, floating around the house. We're super grateful to be working with him. Seems like every movie I watch these days, Keith makes a cameo. How's he doing with that? And, and the business you guys are running, that must all be going really well for him. Yeah, you know what? He's doing awesome. Uh, he's a huge part of my training camp. And um, I think sometimes we have to balance kind of, okay, my time, your time. And uh, he's really he's really out there doing it, you know. And, and um, I'm super grateful that he has time to, like he just came to practice now to make sure that I wasn't, um, you know, just kind of staying the course now or at the tail end of things. But man, he's in and out of LA all the time. And, and, and I just, I'm super, super, super proud. So it's cool. It's cool. Let's talk about Jessica Penne, 12 and five record. How do you feel like you match up against her here? I don't, uh, records are kind of funny to me, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, whatever, like, let's just, we, we could talk about our last couple of fights, I think is more relevant, you know, and, and she's coming off of a way bigger layoff than I am. I, also, I mean, I, I don't even, I don't really think that matters either. I think it's more about how I feel and and um, and whatever. There's going to be opponent an opponent in there, no matter who it is, whatever record it is. It, you know, um, yeah, we've prepared um, for her essentially, but it's like, man, who am I going to bring to the cage is more important than who's standing across from me. You know, um, and and that's where I'm at in, at this point in my career. So I've done everything to prepare myself to be the best um, that I can be. And um, I think I match up well. I think I match up well with anybody. So it's cool. Who have been some of your main training partners for this camp? Um, you know, I have a, an amazing team. Um, but it's cool because uh, Michelle Watterson is one of my main training partners. And she's um, she's going to fight Carolina. And I'm going to fight Jessica. And we both have um, fought them before. And so it's kind of funny. Um, so yeah, she's one of my main training partners, but I got a gym full of people, you know, and, and John Dotson's always been one of my training partners from the, from the beginning of time. And, and, um, he's, he's always great. He's in camp too. Like we have a, a super strong team at Jackson's right now that always, and it's always cool, but it seems like everybody's in camp right now. So it makes it really packed the gym and really tough rounds and so it's cool it's it's really cool it's, we've kind of elevated each other this time around and um man the whole gym the whole gym is amazing we have a huge we have a huge team there how do you see this fight playing out on february 17th um i feel i, I mean i see a see a good fun fight for myself and my hand being raised at the end you know um yeah Okay. Um, and, and, and what's next after this fight? I mean, not looking past Jessica here, but uh, you know, you mentioned uh, the time went fast in between, you know, your last fight and this one. Um, is, is that the plan to sort of keep that pace or do you want to get in there a little bit sooner after this fight, assuming you come out unscathed? Yeah. Um, yeah. As, if I'm healthy, like, let's go for it. You know, like the, like I said earlier, the times now, um, I'm, I don't feel like I'm old, but like, well, I don't, I'm not waiting for anything, you know, like I, I just want to go, I I'm healthy. Um, everything else in my life is on hold for me to compete at the highest level. You know, um, we have multiple businesses and it's just kind of like my focus is training as a professional athlete right now. And I really want to give that everything that I can and know that I did. And, and, um, so let's roll with it. Like let, let's fight a few times this year and, and let's, let's, let's go get it, you know? We're looking forward to it. This is a stack card. It's coming up here February 17th. Like I mentioned, it is UFC on ESPN1. It's going to be in Phoenix. Uh, Jody, it was uh, great getting a chance to talk to you. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, or if you want to plug your businesses, by all means, the floor is yours. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Uh, you guys can catch me on Instagram at Jody Escabel. Same thing on Twitter and same thing on Facebook. It's just J-O-D-I-E Escabel. And um, I want to thank the Turp House, you know, for, for keeping me... Uh, keeping me recovered and, and, um, being, playing a big part in this camp as well as on it always, um, has my back and, and caveman coffee, of course, um, keeps me fueled in these long training days. And, um, 
and everybody that supports and 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 i'm very thankful for everybody and and uh excited to put on a show and kind of show you guys the, the new me on uh espn one